A very good evening and welcome to G-Sport Live, your weekly women's sport roundup from the G-Sport Newsroom. I'm Cass Naidu. A great show lined up for you tonight and the G-Sport Newsroom is absolutely buzzing ahead of the weekly newsletter coming out on Wednesday. And our theme this week is sponsorship. I'm closing that sponsorship gap. First up though, let's hear from Celine Abrams. She's our content lead on the G-Sport Newsroom, powered by Momentum in partnership with Telcom. And she's currently in Johannesburg in Rosebank at the Summit Audience Development Workshop, where leading media innovators are gathering to find out how they can best serve the audience online. Hello everyone, I'm Celine Abrams, G-Sports Content Lead. Today I have the pleasure of representing G-Sport at the Summit Audience Development Workshop here in Johannesburg. It has been an incredible session where we learned about the audience behavior and how we as the newsroom team can better provide content that suits what our readers want. I look forward to bringing all of the insights that I've learned here today to ensure that we amplify the G-Sport newsroom and bring you tailored content for women's sports. Thank you, Celine, and look forward to seeing you back in the newsroom, smashing those deadlines as always. Remember to check out great inspirational stories on gsport.co.za. You can also follow us on social media at gsport for girls. Now, on Radio 2000 a few days ago, I got the opportunity to chat to the amazing Lonwa Bonkotla about my career. Here's a snippet from that interview. Get it first on your mobile, on the web, and on your dial. This is Radio 2000 Sport. Good morning. In your sport cricket commentator at G Sport for Girls founder, Cass Naidu is our guest today for Inspirational Woman Thursdays. Good morning, Cass. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Always good to be on Radio 2000. I think the most supported in terms of women's sport broadcast. Yes, certainly, Cass. Uh, let's start with your initiative, G-Sport for Girls, and the incredible work that you've done in your newsroom to close the visibility gap through increased media coverage. Why is this important for you? It's important, Lovabo, because women's sport needs to be able to thrive, and the way they thrive is to be able to pick up sponsorship. And sponsorships generally come about through increased media coverage. And when we launched the initiative in 2006, we said, let's do something every day to tell the positive story of women's sport, and then ultimately recognize them on the Momentum Youth Sport Awards stage. And it's a simple solution, but it takes great commitment. And we have a strong team of female writers that just do their bit to close the visibility gap every day. And I certainly believe that it's working, Kaz, because you see how Banyana Banyana, uh, the Puritiers women, continue to uh, do so well in, in sport. And slowly but surely, outside of G-Sport, we're seeing other uh, media houses also join in and tell these, these stories as well. But Kaz, because we don't have a lot of time, I also want to speak about your, your career that continues to flourish in the most amazing ways. And unfairly, I believe we always talk about Trevor Noah and Black Coffee that are doing things globally. But we never mention your name and Natalie Juanos, who are commentators, regular commentators at that, on some of the biggest media houses in the world. How has it been working as a commentator on a platform like like Sky Sports um, in some of the biggest tournaments in, in the world? Um, I feel so honored. I'm, I'm a 44-year-old woman, mother of three, married for 19 years, and I get to do this, and it just proves that women don't have to give up their careers in order to hold our families. We just have to be good jugglers. But on this point, I wouldn't be where I am if the SABC didn't give me an opportunity in 2003. I mean, it was at a time where there was no pressure to really put women forward. And SABC said, well, here's Cass. She will host the Men's Cricket World Cup. And that started an incredible journey for me. Um, I head back to Sky at the summer, and, and I just feel that every time I get this opportunity, I hope I inspire another young woman to believe that everything is possible. And speaking of inspiring young women, Kaz, lastly, on the seat that you also set here on Radio 2000, um, we have former G-Sport Award winners in Rachel Makura and Mutilisi Mohono. When you see these young ladies, and I can list them, there's Lesoho Boy who's just been to Dubai, there's Snetem Bambata who joined SABC Sport as well. What goes in your mind as you see them just continue to flourish just right under your eyes? Um, well, I'm just so proud because I know that they have such incredible talent. I think women broadcasters are currently dominating because they, they were prepared to put in the hard yards. 
It takes at least 10 years to become an overnight success, and you'll see that with Rachel. She's put in the, the decade of work with Mutsudisi, yourself, and Chabi Singh, Mama Bolo. Uh, you guys are dominating because you put in the hard yards. So um, I hope that that is a legacy that I get to leave. That um, It's a long journey. It's a long, long road. And if you haven't broken through yet, your big breakthrough could be around the corner. It's coming. I remember Bongani Nala in the corridors here at SABC, frustrated because uh, this one doesn't like me. This one said this. <laughs> Kes, I'm so frustrated. These people are not responding. And you know, Kes defeated me by saying, Renovo, just go the extra mile with a smile. Send people the sound bites, even though they don't like, even though they don't say thank you. And I was so defeated at the time. But Kes, I just want to say, it really did help me get as far as I did. So thank you very much for the incredible work that you do. Always good to catch up with the Radio 2000 team, one of my favorite radio stations. They're so supportive of women's sport broadcasters. You look at Lon Wabo, Ntabi Singh Mamabolo, Motsidisi Mohono, and Rachel Makura. Those are massive names, and you need an opportunity in order to become a big name, don't you? And that's what Lamelo Khanaka got a few months ago when she got to join the G Sport newsroom to unearth new stories in women's sport. A few days ago, Lamelo told an amazing story about super biker Moro and this is what she has to say about closing the visibility gap. Hi everyone, my name is Lamelo Kanaka. I'm a G-Sport writer and welcome to G-Sport Live. You know what we do every single Monday. But I'm here to tell you about Moronga Mahobe, who I wrote about the past week, just profiling her. She's a super bike racer who started at the age of 30 and the first black person to do that in South Africa. She's an ambassador for motorsport and we are here for her. I mean, we loved sharing her story and sourcing her from other women in sports other women in the media who wanted to put her story out there and giving her enough audience to tell her story it's what we do to close the visibility gap and that's what we did where women's sports is concerned especially in motorsport so we are grateful to everyone who reached out and are inspired about her story and her doing the piece for us was amazing for her she is very much grateful to g spot to have told her story and giving enough um, what can i say giving enough uh, uh, courage to other women who wants to start getting into sports no matter the age no matter where you come from as long as you are smart as long as you are a hard worker as long as you are determined you know you can reach greater heights with whatever that you want to do so kudos to her to have given us the opportunity to tell her story we appreciate it and there's still a long way to go where closing the visibility gap is concerned because we need to keep telling those stories but her story inspired a lot of people because she got a lot of retweets she got a lot of you inspire me i love your story i know how it started it wasn't easy and you are here being celebrated and that's what we do we are grateful to have just told her story and putting it out there for everyone to know that age doesn't necessarily mean that you have to just back down on your dreams or what you want to achieve Lamelo Khanaka, one of the writers on the G Sport newsroom, all women newsroom, powering women's sport. It's an amazing story in South Africa, and we love telling positive stories at G Sport for Girls across social media. And remember, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more great videos coming up on a weekly basis. We are live on Mondays at 7 p.m. Central African time. Time now for the big interview and I mentioned our weekly newsletter. The theme is sponsorship and we thought ahead of that newsletter, why not speak to one of the big brands in women's sport? She's a rugby player, a firefighter and a brand ambassador. But most importantly, she wants to effect change in women's sport and become a real success story. I'm talking about the wonderful Zintle Ndawande.
It's time now for another big interview on G Sports. And today we speak to a big brand in women's sports, Zintle Ndawonde, the rugby player, firefighter, brand ambassador. She does it all. Zintle, how are you? Hi, Cass. Uh, thank you very much for having me on the G Sports. You, are, you guys are amazing. You guys have been doing such an amazing job for us as women. And I, I have to give you guys credits, appreciating the work that we do, appreciating us as athletes. Um, I can't wait for this year's uh, G Sports at the Girls uh, Awards. I mean, I'd love to be there. Uh, hopefully, I'll make it this time again and dress nicely and just be a girl for once. You know, we only get uh, to be girls once in a while because you know how it is being on the field and, and having to wear boots the whole time. So, we appreciate the whole time we get to look glamorous and, and, and be all nice and all of that. Well, I really appreciate that compliment. And we only are where we are because of women in sport. And I often say this, the G Sport newsroom buzzes every day because you're buzzing on the field. And what an exciting time it is at the moment for women's rugby. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's, you know, we've been waiting uh, for so long for this year. I mean, the last World Cup we played was in 2014 and we obviously didn't qualify for the one in 2017. So it's a very big year for us as, as, as ladies, uh, but also a very big year for South Africa as a whole, for SA Rugby, because um, we haven't played for, for quite some time and we've been wanting to be part of the Rugby World Cup for such a long time. And there's a whole lot of work that has been put with, uh, by the coaches, the players, um, Saru and you know making sure that we are ready and, and we prepared well conditioned for us to be able to, to, to go to the World Cup in New Zealand and not just perform but to be there and, and showcase, showcase that South Africa has, has women um, that, who, that are passionate about the sport, that love the sport, the talents that we have in this country. So that's what we're going to do. We, we're very excited and we, we just can't wait to be there with the big teams, obviously the New Zealands and Australians. Um, we know they've been playing uh, rugby for quite a long time and they've been um, in a lot of Six Nations, they've played a lot of World Cup, but as, as players as, as well as management, that's, that's the teams that we want to play, we want to challenge ourselves. Um, we want to play and then have to, having to see what is it um, that we, we need to go back home maybe and see what we need to do and what is it that we have done um, that is uh, obviously a positive for us that would get us somewhere in the World Cup. So it, it's very exciting and, and we're looking forward to it. Great to have programs in place, but you need to have strong sponsors in order to get somewhere. Uh, good to see Betway supporting women's rugby, other sponsors coming on board. What have you seen in terms of the growth of women's sports sponsorship, particularly with women's rugby? Um, what I can say, Cass, is that from I, 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 I've been playing rugby for quite a long time and there has been a lot of issue, not just with women's rugby as a whole, but with, 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 with sports such as soccer soccer and rugby, which are, which are male dominant, you know. Um, a lot of things have been lacking, you know. Uh, there's, there hasn't been much endorsements. There hasn't been um, uh, much uh, advertising. There hasn't been much of us women, uh, uh, I'd say, being treated as men. But Saru, together with, with um, Betway that I've seen now, that they, they, they're coming in to elevate coaching in order to develop and, and grow women's rugby. And that is exactly what we need as, as athletes because it's not just for us who are already in the system, but that will help us as well as the future generation that is coming in. And I must say there's been much greater improvement. Um, Saru has done a lot of things for us, which which making sure that they've given our athletes contracts, making sure that they're giving us publicity. We last year our games were, public, uh, were, 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 uh, were playing on um, super sports, which is amazing because we've never had that as, 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 as women and, and we really enjoy that you know um, and it's, it's one of the things that encourages us women not just to, to, to play the sports but to enjoy the passion that we have for, 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 for rugby. I guess it also helps to have uh, players like you, uh, you've got Babawa Lacha, you've got Zintle Mpupa, you've got these big brand players, if you will. How did you build yourself, your personal brand into what it is today that you're attracting sponsors to support you? Yes, um, affirmative, uh, Cass. If you look at the Babala Lachas, Zinke Pupas, people, they, they, they've all actually even gotten uh, opportunities to play overseas, you know. And that's one thing we've never had before as, as, as women's rugby. And that's what we want to have. We want to have players, young players, going out there, um, you know, playing for the teams that are not, on, are not from South Africa so that they go there and play, ex experience what it's like playing for, for other teams, but also come back, you know, 
and 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 share the information that they have with us to help us as 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 players to help us um to help the youth or, or rather the youngsters that are coming in to actually understand um what is it to be a rugby player? How do you need to go? To what are what are the essentials and things that you need to be a rugby player? And for me, um, like being with uh, Adidas, for example, uh, that brand just being yourself. It's not about doing something that is beyond yourself. To in order to attract corporates and, and other sponsorship, you just need to to be you. And for me, I, I just went about that by just being myself showcasing the things that I do, which is being a rugby player, showcasing uh, the things I do, which is working as a firefighter. And for corporate uh, for corporates and sponsorships such as Adidas, they, 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 they saw that um, uh, and they also love the story, my, my story, how, how, how I grew up and how about I, I got to be where I am today, you know, because it, it's not about, it's not just about being a brand and just wearing the clothes, but, but wearing the Adidas clothes, but it's about uh, taking the brand Adidas, for example, and taking it to the community, to showing it to the young girls to say, you you can be something one day, and this is the, this are the benefits, you know, of you of being yourself and showcasing yourself and 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 just, you know, showing people the who you are and what you do for a living and the things that you've been through and and how you've survived um, and how you've risen. Uh, from from that that maybe let's say disadvantaged background that you you've been in up until you are now. Not so long ago, you decided to get an agent. How has that worked out for you? And what advice do you have for athletes who are perhaps looking for better support to attract brands like you mentioned, Adidas and the other big brands that are in women's sport? Uh, I would say that worked really well for me um, because I first started with my Benin Sports. I didn't know anything about being a brand. I was just Zinclin down there posting everything, you know. And um, my Benin came along the first because now I'm with uh, Pro Sports. So she told me a lot of things about I should understand that I'm not just Zinclin down there, but I am a brand on my own. People appreciate the work that I do, appreciate people appreciate uh, the athlete that I am, people appreciate my personality and that alone is a brand, you know, and you can go so far with just being who you are. So I'm now with ProSport and there's a lot of things that, uh, that that has happened to me just recently. Um, uh, Spa Women uh, appointed me to be part of, 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 of their ambassadors, which is great. And these things associate, are associated with the person that I am, you know. If you look at Adidas, they, they, they're not just a brand, but they, they, they go out in, in, into athletes, making sure that athletes and communities as well, to making sure that they uplift them, you know, to be the person that they are. Um, I was just telling one of my friends that I even like the, 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 the spa virtuals theme this year because it, 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 it says hashtag arise and that talks about, it, it personally talks about me. Um, where I grew up as a young kid, I didn't have anything, mom working as a domestic worker, but I didn't let that push me down and, 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 and fall into the environment that I was in. But I decided I, I wanted to rise, I wanted to be a better person, but not only for me, but also for the young athletes that are coming behind me because at the end of the day, you know, age is going and we, we, we're going to leave the game anytime soon even though i am going to be involved with rugby when that time comes but the the girls and the generation that is coming up behind us they are looking at us um we are they are we are more they, they are motivated by us um so whatever that we do on social media or how we present ourselves um, on social media is what they are looking at and obviously, if they say they want to be like Zinc and Dawande, the Babala Dutchess, then we've got to play the role that will motivate them, that will encourage them to be better people one day. Two years ago, you won the Estee Lauder Style Star Award at the G Sport Awards, probably the best dressed at the moment at G Sport Awards that year. What did that award mean for you? And how important is the power of recognition in women's sport? Oh, that was amazing. Uh, one of my best years ever. Um, but that just alone, um, cast, it, it gets to show that because with the star star, people had to vote for you, you know, um, and to see how much people loved me, how much people uh, appreciated me, how much people believed in me. That just as, as a person gives you um, courage to say, 
you make a difference not only in 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 in, 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 in your family's life for example but around the world uh to the young girls to to your community to to, to the whole nation to the nation of south africa let me say so it was a, it, it was very big for me you know um, because as much as it's style style, it's, it's about style and everything, but people actually got to see that this is a, a, a rugby player. She's a firefighter. Um, she's a strong woman who's been through a lot, but was able to, to move herself out of this situation to make sure that she builds herself and, and be someone one day. Uh, so it meant so much to me. I, I even slept with it that day I got home. <laughs> and obviously with you guys, like I said, um, I guess, it's it's as athletes we we appreciate uh, when you guys give us that recognition because it, it 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 also builds us as players it builds us as individuals um it encourages to actually work even harder to 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 not um uh, get discouraged but to always fight for our dreams you know and to always shine you know because as much as we've been through a lot as athletes because most athletes um i know especially with rugby most of them most of them come from bad backgrounds you know uh, but they try their best to to make a living out of of, of the sport so so sports is not just for us it's not just about playing and everything but it's about um being professional enjoying what we do whilst we're still able to look after our families whilst we're still able to take care of, us, of, of ourselves and that is very great for us we, we we appreciate so much the work that you guys do for us final question for you if you had to wave a magic wand and look into the future what is your greatest dream that you still would like to achieve yeah okay um i would like to build a foundation especially for the young girls in rural areas um we because like i mentioned now that there's a lot that's 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 happening um especially in the place where sports is not known so i'd like to take sports in rural areas where they, they, they don't know what soccer is about especially the male dominant sports because even even that side in rural areas, I still believe that soccer and rugby is for girls. So I want to change that stereotype and go out there, educate uh, the parents as well as the kids to say, you can change your life just by doing sports. Uh, it, it, I, I'm proof of that. I'm living proof of that. Um, and you can always be anything that you want to be in life, no matter the circumstances. Well, I love what you're about. Rugby player firefighter brand ambassador and all round amazing human being i think rugby is so lucky to have you we're so lucky to have you and thank you for always supporting g sport and other women in sport it's so appreciated thank you very much guys for having me it was great to meet you If you're a big brand and you want to support Zintle, I suggest you do so because this is a woman who has big dreams and she smashes those goals because she has a purpose and her purpose is to make a difference in women's sport. Our G-Sport newsletter coming up on Wednesday. Why should you sign up? Let's hear now from Olympic swimmer Emma Chelius. Hello everyone. My name is Emma Chilius, I'm a South African Olympic swimmer and today I just want to give a huge shout out to the incredible team behind G Sport for Girls which is the platform that covers women's sport both in South Africa and abroad and really showcases the incredible talent and hard work that female athletes are doing day in and day out. If you haven't already subscribed to their newsletter, make sure that you click on the link and type in your email address so that you're the first to know about all the incredible achievements of our girls. And thank you again for the awesome coverage from G Sport for Girls. We really appreciate everything that you're doing. G Sport would not be possible without the athletes. And it's the athlete's voice that is so powerful. When they support the work that we do, it inspires us to do even more. So sign up for the newsletter and join us in this conversation around women's sports sponsorship and closing the sponsorship gap. That's a wrap of G Sport Live this Monday evening. The G Sport newsroom is buzzing. Lots of deadlines ahead of the weekly newsletter on Wednesday and a couple of surprises coming up. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I think you're going to be happy with just what's coming up in the next few days. Youth Month starting on Wednesday for all the youth. It's a special time. A very good evening to you.